Hello, I'm Chris Temple, and welcome back to Indie Rebel VFX, Hollywood Effects Without the Hollywood Budget, and this is a Quick Tip Tuesday. I I would like to try to do more of these. I don't know that I will, but this is a, a very important quick tip that um, I, I felt like sharing as I'm in the middle of this particular shot for my upcoming movie, Leap, A Tale of the Last Days. So here we have a shot, and if I go to the original plate, we can see that we are here at a cemetery. Okay, and this is taken with a, a drone, DJI Mavic 2 Zoom, for those that are curious. And uh, we did not have the money for an actual casket or coffin. So I measured it out with a tape measure, and there's a tennis ball hidden up here that you can't see. And then we got two tennis balls down here representing the bottom of the casket. And then we put an ice chest in here for height. Now, in the actual shot, I have to go through and paint a lot of this junk out first before I add my CG elements. But for the sake of teaching you guys how to match your black levels, uh, this will be just fine. And what do I mean by matching black levels? Well, here I have a casket. Okay. We can see the alpha channel for it. And I'm going to go ahead and merge it right on top of the plate. Now, I've already wrote out the people very sloppily right now because this is, again, just a quick internet tutorial. But when you look at it, you can see that the black of the casket, if you look down here at these numbers, the black of the casket is deeper and richer than the actual blacks of the shot. Okay, the number values are significantly different. So what we need to do is match those black levels to help integrate the casket, the CGI, into the scene. So how do we do that? Well, uh, it's, this is actually really cool. Now, I learned this from another YouTuber. It was in the middle of like a 20-minute tutorial, and I can't remember the YouTuber's name, and I can't remember which tutorial it was because this was like seven months ago. But this really solved all my woes. And so shout out to you, uh unknown youtuber if you end up watching this video i did learn this trick from you and uh, go and take credit for it and i i'll be able to verify it if it was you by checking out your channel so uh yeah just want to throw that out there so here's what we got to do we're going to add a grade node before the pre-multiplication of the casket because color work has to come before you pre-multiply it so we're going to come up here we're going to add a grade node i'm now going to come up to the top and use my gamma in the viewer which is the y and I'm going to drag that all the way up. Now, this doesn't affect the final image. It's only affecting what I'm looking at. I'm going to come over to the black point of the grade node, click the black box, and now I can control click the darkest part of the image. Okay, and we see that the, the casket got a little darker. But now what I want to do is I want to come over and click reverse. And then I'm going to reset the gamma on my viewer. And now look at that. At this point, now we're kind of in the same ballpark. Things are matching a lot better. And th this is a much better starting point now to do any color correction that I might need to do to fully integrate it into the shot. You know, you could very easily now add a color correct node and we could warm it up. We could cool it down. I mean, whatever the shot requires, we now have the ability to do. But um, for the purpose of this tutorial, that's looking really good. So just to recap one more time, I'm going to delete the grade node. You got your CGI asset. We add a grade node, we gamma up our viewer all the way, select black point, select the blackest part of the image, click reverse, reset the viewer, and now everything's looking like it kind of belongs together. Now, this is supposed to be Hollywood effects without the Hollywood budget, and I know Nuke is extremely expensive, but if you head on over to the Foundry's website, the Foundry's the company that is the company that makes Nuke, uh, you can actually download a non-commercial version totally for free. You're not allowed to use it for any sort of paid work, but you can use it for uh, following along with YouTube videos and learning how to use Nuke. You can also use it to record and do tutorials too. So if you got really good at it and you want to start a channel doing that, you're welcome to do it as far as I know. Uh, you'll have to check out all the rules and stuff, but anyway, I highly recommend checking out. Nuke is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and it's what we're choosing to use here on Leap, A Tale of the Last Days. So that is our Quick Tip Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. If you got any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'm Chris Temple, and you've been watching Indie Rebel VFX, Hollywood effects without the Hollywood budget.